four reps. Now, I'll say four reps for each exercise, unless it's a one-sided exercise, which will happen, then we're gonna do four on one side, four on the other. Make sense? Cool, okay. So, first move, toes forward, tailbone back. We're going to squat, come up to the toes. Squat, heel lift, squat, heel lift, squat, heel lift. Move two, a warrior three. You can either put your hands by your ears, you can put your hands behind you. We're doing four on each side. Stay on one side first for four, and then we'll move to the other side for four. So it is just a bend hinge at the hips as your leg comes behind you. Dig your big toe into the floor. Try to balance here. It's also a nice little stretch if you think about it. And then we're back to the top. Four squats, down, heel raise, down, heel raise, down, heel raise, down, heel raise. Back to our warrior threes. Sometimes I call these flamingos because you're balancing on one leg if you can. All right? See why I went barefoot? Just for this move mostly. This one's a harder one to do with shoes on. You are, you're gonna dig, dig your big toe into your shoe. Find a focal point, four on one side, four on the other. And if you do five, that's okay too. If you count it wrong, it's okay. Just don't try to shortchange yourself. And we're gonna do inchworms. We're gonna fold. Walk out to plank, pause, walk back towards your toes, roll it on up, do that three more times, right? Walk it on out, fingertips forward, they lay on just under those shoulders, walk the hands back. As you're walking, I want your fingertips out nice and wide. Spread those fingers apart, give yourself a good base on the floor for your hands to crawl out. As you come back on up from this plank, Pipe your hips, draw your pelvic towards your chin. You get a nice little ab work there. Back to our squats. We're down and up. Four, three, two, one. Into your warrior threes. Whatever you want to call them. One leg hinged. Hinges. Point that toe towards the back wall. This really gives you a chance to work on your balance. Squeeze your core tight. Go ahead and switch. How's your balance today? Do you find a focal point somewhere in your house? We're gonna do a lot of these. You're gonna feel the back of your legs that we worked yesterday in this exercise too. Come on down for inchworms. You've got four of them. And on our last one, you're gonna stay down in a plank, okay? So count this out, I'm on two. Moving on to three. And on this last one, this is our last one right here, you're gonna stay down. We're gonna do a plank walk down. So in a plank, on your knees or toes, you're gonna to walk down. Your elbow, walk up four times. So let's go three more. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Walk the hands to the feet. Back to our squats. We're down and we're up. We're down and we're up. Give me one more. And then let's balance work it. Right here. We've only done five moves so far. Just wait. <laughs> There's more to come. Hang with me. All right, let's go ahead and switch to the other side. You see how we're kind of just warming up here? Feels like a good warm up. We're stretching. Right there. Count up your four. I hope you're doing good at counting today. Inchworm it on out. You've got to fold forward. Stretch those legs. Walk out to plank. Pause. Nice tight plank. Walk it back. Tilt your pelvic, pelvic bones towards your chin. Tilt your hips to your chin. When you pike up and walk back, that will help you work your core and support your back. Right? Walking on down and out. I think I'm on three. Are you on three? And then let's go ahead and take it to our last one. Hold it here, walk it down, down, up, up. I would suggest a wide base with your feet so that you stop rocking your hips back and forth. 
and you really keep a solid plank. You've got four here, so count them out. Try to control the movement. From here, you're gonna hop in wide, come to a catcher. Down and back, hop in wide, come to a catcher. Hop back, in, wide, stay low, have it back. Walk the hands to the feet. Coming into our squat, lift, squat, lift, squat, lift, squat, lift. Oh, it should be four, right? Into our leg extensions, warrior three. Your balance is so good, I want you to try to reach out those arms. After you do four, switch to the other side. It's starting to feel warm now. Definitely. Whew. Arms aren't gonna work on this side. <laughs> All right, inch arms are next. Fold it, walk it, down and out. Come on back, roll it on up. Again, down and out. Back on up. Walk it down, elbow plank, and then back up. Elbow plank, back up. Notice how I'm doing this at a nice pace and not going too fast, okay? I don't want you to speed through it either. And then from here, hop it up, catch her. Down and back, hop it up, catch her. So as you hop those feet, you're coming wide and staying low with your butt in a nice low squat. Come back down to the floor. We're gonna bear crawl to the side, back, to the side, back. Walk the hands to the feet. You're doing a lateral bear crawl there, okay? Just wanna make sure that I, I flip flop two moves, so we'll see how I feel about this once we keep moving on. Let's go ahead and squat with those heels. So if I change something on you, just listen for my cue, okay? All right, four of those, four flamingos, whatever you want to call these. Balance work, core work. Using the back of your leg to pull yourself back up and your core to draw yourself tall. It's that spot where your leg meets your rear, that's that spot right there you're pulling the stand up, okay? And then each one and on out after you do your four, Remember to pike up those hips and use your abdomen on the way back up, right there. Last one, hold it down at the bottom. Let's walk it on down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. So this is a workout you could do outside in a nice day, as long as it's not scorching hot. Pop it up, catcher. We're going into bear after these catchers, okay? These were the two moves I flip left. I think we'll be okay. We'll just transition real pretty. Go ahead and come on down to bear walk. To the side, back to the mat. Side, side. Pop it on up. We're gonna pick the grass down, in, down, in, down, in, down, in. Back to the top, so I think we're okay there. All right. Coming on down and lifting. Down, lifting. I'm starting to breathe now. How about you? Balance. Balance and breathe right here. So we're coming up for those quick grass pickers, or what I call them. Squat jacks, whatever you want to, want to say for them, okay? And then we're going to come back down to the ground again. So that floor work isn't done yet. All right, we got our inchworms. After you do all of those flamingos, make sure that you've got a really nice tight plank. Your shoulders should be fired up at this point, okay? I want them to be nice and warm. You should also be keeping 
keeping your head, neck, shoulder, hips, and ankles in a line when you're in your plank. Really squeeze through your center and focus on that core as we come down and out. All right, let's go ahead. Walk it down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Arms are warm here. We're gonna power through. If you need to, come to the knees, but I'd like you to try to stay on your toes and build up those muscles right there. Let's go ahead and catch it. Down and back, come in, catch. Down and back, catch. Down and back. I'm doing one more because I lost count. <laughs> Bear crawls. Here we go. To the side, center. Your knees are underneath your hips, your back is flat. And then we're hopping on up to pick the grass. Pick up some pretty flowers four times. Moving on. Fold in half. Pop your legs back. Come down flat to your mat. We've got four Supermans. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Lift arms and legs, lower. Squeeze the backside, lower. Curl yourself out to a down dog, walk yourself back. Back to the top, ready, set, down and up. Two, one more. Back to our flamingos. Where are you putting your arms? Where do you like your arms to be? One side would be better than the other. Did you find a focal point? Did you find your balance? Are you feeling it right there? Where your leg meets your rear? Right there. Can you get that back leg straight and that toe pointing to the back wall? We're coming down. Inchworms, down and out. Fold in half. Fingertips wide. Hold in plank. Walk it on back. Control this. As we go through this and you get tired, you're gonna wanna just get lazy through it and walk out as fast as you can. Not pause and walk back as fast as you can. I don't want you to take your time, okay? Go through the movements, work on the form. We're gonna hold it down. On this next one, we're coming to elbow planks. Walk it on, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. One more time, down, down, up, up. Hop it up to catchers. Down and back. I am coming narrow with my feet when I come back, and then I'm hopping up flat foot wide, still keeping my butt low on the catcher. I'm gonna do one more. I think that was four, but that's okay. Down to bear. Walk to the side. Walk it back. Walk to the side. Walk it back. Hop it on up for your grass pickers. We're coming down and in, out wide like a sumo. Back down to the mat, so just fold. Hop back to plank or step back to plank. Lower your chest. Arms out, legs out. Lift, squeeze, lower. Lift, squeeze, lower. Lift, squeeze, lower. One more. Lift, squeeze, lower. This time, hands come under the shoulders, on your knees or your toes. Ground up, push up. Lower yourself down. Ground up, push up. Lower yourself down. On your knees or toes, I'm on my knees right now, protecting my back. But if you can come all the way up, go ahead right here, push yourself up and back to down dog, walk your hands to your feet. If you can come up on your toes without snaking or curving your back and your body, get up on those toes, okay? Let's go again from the top. Let's see, there are three more moves to add on here, okay? Let's go ahead and squat. Lift. Did I tell you once we get to the end, we're just gonna go on repeat and go through it several times? I think I forgot to tell you that part. That's okay, you do know now. All right, here we go. So it was kind of unassuming at first, but this will catch up on you. So even these feel a little challenging. Sell that breathing. What's nice about this is you can take this anywhere, okay? If you're outside, if you're on vacation, and you need something to do, this is a great workout to take with you. 
because you don't need any equipment. This is all your own body weight. You're working on your strength. I like to think of this as um, kind of a primal workout. What does that mean? Your own body weight, moving it in ways that are very primitive, right? So you should feel really good when we do this workout. Like very humanized. All right, come on down, walk it. And then take it back on up. Walk it down. Walk it up. Walk it down. Walk it up. Walk it down. Walk it up. Walk the hands to the feet. Oops, we were supposed to catch there, weren't we? Go ahead, we'll catch. <laughs> if you were catching, you keep going. I'm gonna catch up to you. I just felt like I wanted to get back up, I guess. Bear crawls are next. I gave you a break if you had already gotten ahead of me there. All right, bear walks. It was supposed to go bear walks, then catchers, but I messed up. I don't think it hurts us that bad, though. Grass pickers. Gives us a break between catchers and grass pickers, at least, right? All right. Folding in half. Popping back to plank. Supermans are next. Lift four. Three, I want you to squeeze. Two, one. Ground up, push ups. I can use your toes. Release it completely. Hands come onto the shoulders. So you're really working the back of your arms. You know when I have you do tricep dips and a lot of things? This will help develop that. All right, next up. Push to a down dog, hold your down dog. Hinge forward in the plank. Just hold. Push to down dog. Come back to plank, hold. Push to down dog. Come back to plank, hold. Lift those hips, down dog. Hold your plank. One more time. Last count again. Hold. Walk the hands back to the feet. We're at the top again. So we're just down dog, plank, down dog, plank. That gives you an opportunity to really focus on that core, piping up those hips, rolling through the shoulder joints and holding your body strong, okay? Let's go ahead and squat it. Heels up, squat it on the toes. Swing those arms through, back to our flamingos. Feels like we haven't been to these flamingos for a while. We're adding on, I can feel it. It's getting longer. We've got two more moves to add on. I really like the next one. And you're gonna just love the last one, it's like fireworks. <laughs> All right, let's get serious here. We mean business. Work those legs. Walk it in down and out, let's hit that core. Get those shoulders, work on our nice, proper plank form, okay? Fold, stretch out the back of the legs. They're nice and loose now, all these folds forward. Such a great stretch for those hamstrings. I couldn't have planned it any better after yesterday. To do all these folds. Again, hold on down and out. Let's walk it down, down, up, up. Down, down, up, up. I don't care which arm you lead down with and which arm you lead up with. If you're a particular person, do one side for two and the other side for two. Right here, pop it up, catch. So as you land, jump those feet out wide, land flat on your feet. Even with shoes on, right? Okay. Come back on down, bear crawls, side, knees are under that hip. They're not, your butt's not up in the air, it's flat with your back. And we're walking slow and controlling this. Okay, come on up. Grass pick, grass pick, grass pick. You got it. Fold forward. Step back to plank or hop back to plank. Superman, four, three, two, lift, squeeze. Ground up push ups. Hands are just under those shoulders, release. Use the back of your arms. You'll have worked the back of your arms, your triceps in this exercise, as well as those walk downs to your elbows, okay? Let's go ahead and push the down dog. I think that was four. 
<laughs> to plank, to down dog, to plank, hold, 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 to down dog, to plank, hold, we've got one more, down dog, to plank, hold, 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 from here, a rolling T, we've got four, switch, three, two, stack the shoulders, open those hips, open the chest, and one. Walk the hands to the feet. Woohoo! One more move after this. I need a little windshield wiper here. All right, back to squats. We are 20 minutes in here, okay guys? And we're not done yet. We're gonna put this on repeat a few times. How many times do you wanna repeat? That's my question to you. Just keep going all day till we fatigue, till we get tired. Well, I'll tell you this. If you want to keep going, keep going, even when we stop, right? So I'll pick a number. I'll choose. Right now, my head wants to say five. Five times all the way through. So that means we have six more times, but then I think, hmm, ten's also a good number. My point to you, though, if you want to keep going and on repeat, just keep going. The reason why I put this workout in here is, believe it or not, this is my most, Power Pyramid is my most viewed video, okay? Walking in, down and out, which means there are people out there that really like it. So, I only have one Power Pyramid created in a video on YouTube. So I thought, why not do another one? Give people what they want, right? And I'll tell you this, some people cannot stand this workout. They really don't like the repetition. Some people love the repetition and patterns. To each their own, right? Okay, come on down, down, up, up. We all have our own preferences of working out, preferences for exercise formats. Everybody has a little bit of a different taste. Here's catchers. Some of you are gonna love this. So let me know, and if you don't like it, don't tell me. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> it's something different, right? Okay, back to our bear crawl. Side, side. I told my daughter, because she asked, can I work out with you in the morning? And I said, well, this is what I'm doing. And she said, oh, I like that idea. I want to do it. But then she went to bed too late, so she's sleeping. I might just put this on for her later to do, though. So and she's on later. Hello, honey. <laughs> All right, coming. Back down, in your fold, step back to plank, all the way down, Superman lifts. Three, two, one, push-ups from the ground up. Are you on your knees? Are you on your toes? Are you releasing at the bottom completely? Do you have a nice tight plank? Are you pressing from the palms of your hands, the heels of your hands? and then pushing the ground away from you. Down dog, curl those toes under. Get that hips up high, hands are shoulder width apart, feet are hip width apart, hinge to plank, hold, hold, hold. Come back up, down dog. Here's a chance for you to really lead with the hips. We'll come to plank, hold, hold, hold. Now think about tilting your pelvic towards your chin and lead the hips, pike up. Yeah, come back to plank. Pike up, down dog. Back to plank. Pike up, down dog. Back to plank, rolling T's. You're making a T shape with your body, right? Try not to roll yourself all the way over. Get your feet in a nice, good base. You'll feel a good width of your feet as you roll through. Stack the shoulders, open the hips, open the chest. Last move, come on up. We're gonna pop back to plank. Come up and do a two high knee run. Ready, set. Down, back, in, high knee. Down, back, in, high knee. Two more. Down and back, in, high knee. Down and back, in, high knee. High five. You made it through. That's the whole workout. How are we doing? I'm just going to check on you before doing this. Let's go five times through, okay? I'm dripping. So, we're just gonna go five times, on repeat, 
I don't think I'm stopping. Are you stopping? This is your little break right here. Last moves is fireworks. It's our burpee high knee run. Simple, easy, we got this, right? All right, five times, four counts of everything. Woo I might have to stop in between to swipe, but other than that, let's go. Let's heels back, toes forward, let's drop it and lift it. One more, take it into your balance work. It feels like a long time since we've done these. Again, every time we add it on, it gets us further away from the start again, doesn't it? That's okay. I feel like I'm gonna need a tally board to count how many times through we've done it. I do have a board, I could tally it. I'm gonna try really hard just to remember though. All right, inchworms, full, walk it out. Fingertips wide, I want you to remember that. Give yourself a nice, strong base. We are working the upper body. We are stretching out those legs, keeping that core super tight. So much work happening right here. Very functional, there's something on the ground, I need to go get it, walk it on down, walk it on out, right? That's functional. Oh, I gotta get a little bit lower, ready? Drop to the elbow, walk it up, drop to the elbow, walk it up. Remember to switch hands if you need to. You're gonna have a dominant side that wants to lead the way the whole time, and that's fine. But if you wanna work on, about to catch her, work on evening out and more symmetry in your body, switch arms when we're doing that walk down, okay? Come on down with your bear. Walk to the side, hold. Walk it back, hold. To the side, hold. Walk it back, hold. Come on up. Grab some pretty flowers. Pop it in. Three, two, one. It's probably better if I count, right? Fold forward. Walk the feet back. In your Supermans, nice and wide. Lift four, lower. Lift three, lower. Lift two, Lower, lift one, lower. Round up push-ups, hands under the shoulders. Lift four, lower, release. Lift three, lower, release. Lift two, lower, release. Last one, lower, release. Push back to down dog, hold. Feet hip width, hand shoulder width, come to plank, hold. Lift to down dog, pike those hips. Draw your belly button in towards your spine. Back to plank, hold. Work on your alignment, shoulders over the wrists. Down dog. Plank hold. Down dog. Plank hold. Rolling T, I don't care which side you start on. Just alternate, squeeze, so you don't throw yourself all the way over. Hop up. Okay, pop it on back. <laughs> run, run. I want those knees to come up high, high, okay? High knee. Last one. High knee. Breathe for just a second. Swipe, sweat. We're right back to the top. Toes forward. Heels back, tailbone back. Ready, set, let's go. Lift. Down. Lift. Balance. Warrior three flamingo. Try to get that knee to swing through to hip height. Is your balance getting better? Switch. Your four on your side. Think about those muscles working the back of the leg, your core. We've got inchworms next. That nice fold, just as strong as when we started, okay? I keep my feet about hip width apart and I keep my hands the same distance. I fold in half to be in line with my feet and when I walk back, I'm still in line with my feet. Gives me a nice wide stance. I can hold a nice tight plank without my body rocking or swaying. We're gonna hold it down on this last one here. 
Walk it down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. One more. Hop it up, catch. Stay low. Think about catching a ball behind a pitcher's mound right here. There you go. You've got your mitt right here, ready to catch. Come down to bear. We're walking it. Hold. Walk it, hold. Walk it, hold. Get that butt down. Walk it, hold. Come on up. Grab it. Hop it in. Three, two, one. Fold. Step or hop back to plank. Superman. Slow yourself all the way down. Lift. Four. Three. Two. One, your ground up push ups here on your knees or toes. Make sure you're not staking that back. I'm on my toes. I'm trying really hard not to stake my back. I can get a couple in just like that. <laughs> How about you? Curl those toes under down dog. To plank. Down dog. To plank. Down dog. To plank, that's three, one more. Down dog, to plank. Rolling T's, we've got four, three. Take your time with these if you need to. Come to your knees if you need to. Pop it on up, pop it on back. Down and back, in, run, run. Down and back, in, knee, knee. Down and back, in, knee, knee. Last time. Knee, knee. Three more times, all the way through. Are you still with me? Are you still rocking it? Loving it, awesome. Okay, cool. You never know, I don't know the penny, that some of you have done this before, so I'm glad you're loving it. What's cool again, no equipment needed, okay? Take it on down, lift it up. So even if you're like camping and you couldn't get Wi-Fi, you can do this workout. It's kind of nice. I think that was five. Let's go ahead and go, four on each side. If you're on a boat and you can get Wi-Fi, you can pull up this video. Just get a little runway on the boat, extra balance work when your boat's rocking, right? Switch on the legs. My point, you can take this anywhere with you, okay? Children can do this, family members can do this. You just can modify if you need to. Everything's modifiable. Right? Let's walk it on out, inchworm. Everything you can change it on up. Some people really like to move just their body weight. I mean, this, there's nothing that makes you feel stronger than being able to hold your own body weight and work in this type of way. And there's so many more primitive type movements we could add to this. Not today, but you could. <laughs> All right, from here, walk it down, down. Up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, hop into catcher. Do you know how much core work I snuck in on you here today too? You're welcome. Nobody wants to feel like they're doing the core work, but you are. Come all the way on down to bear. Walk it, hold. Knees are just two inches off the floor. And your booty's down, flat with your neck. Walk it again, get my hands off here. All right, so you're gonna walk the same hand, same leg, same hand, same leg, right? Okay, grass pick, down and up, down and up. I did those pairs slow on purpose to challenge you a little bit. Fold, hop it back or walk it back. And it's also the placement of this Superman after we're moving on purpose, okay? Go ahead, push yourself up from the ground, take it on out. Push yourself up, work the back of the arms, that tricep, all the way on up, all the way down. One more. Down dog. Peg up those hips, come to plank. Peg up those hips, come to plank. Peg up those hips. Come to plank. One more time, pike up. Into your plank. And rolling 
tees. Open up the chest, stack the shoulders, fingertips to the ceiling. We're gonna pop on up, pop it right back. Come in, run, run. Pop it back, knee, knee. Knee, knee. Knee, knee. Good work, good work. All right, that was three times through. We're going two more times. Two more, okay? I'm drenched, so excuse me while I swipe. Right back at it. In the middle of those down dog planks, I was like, shoot. Did we go through it two times or three times? But that was three. We're moving on to number four. And then we have a number five. And then we'll cool down, stretch out a little bit, okay? We've got a lot of chest to stretch out. We'll figure out a good stretch. All right, ready, set, squat, lift, squat, lift, squat, lift. One more. Come into your balance work. Have you switched your arms? Have you figured out a good spot for them? Are you kind of on autopilot? Did your body figure out it can hold really good balance here? Somebody said the other day, my balance is getting better, and that's awesome. I do a lot of um, workouts that focus on balance, stability. Guess what that helps with? Falling. If you trip over something, there's a better chance you're going to catch yourself. Fold in half, walk it on out. I actually had a client who, she fell and she goes, Tracy, it would have been so much worse had I not been working out with you. And I agree. So, again, when you think about exercise as being functional and very fitting for your lifestyle, think about balance work and how important it is. Gaining strength. All right, here we are. Walking on down, down. Speaking of strength, upper body strength right here. Power through this. I know you can do it without rocking your hips a ton. If your hips are really rocking, get your feet wider. One more. All right, hop it on up, catcher. Feet wide. You go from your toes landing flat on your feet, keeping your butt down, holding up your torso from your hips, squeezing that core tight. Back down to bear. Walk, same arm, same leg, hold. Same arm, same leg, hold. Same arm, same leg, hold. One more. Same arm, same leg. Hop it up. Grab that money, it's on the ground four times. One more. Full. Feet come back. Drop all the way down. Superman. Lift, squeeze. Lift, squeeze. Lift, squeeze. Lift, squeeze. Round up push-ups. Another fun thing about this workout is that you, the element of surprise, you didn't know it was coming. You just trusted it was going to be something good, right? And look at you now. You did the whole thing. It's all good. We got a great workout. Push the down dog. Come to plank. Yeah, I cheated us out of that last round. It's okay. I went straight from a push up to a down dog instead of going back down to the ground. We'll live. All right. Back to plank hold. Squeeze that belly. Squeeze those cheeks in the back. Come into rolling tees right here. T, T, two more. Pop it on up. Pop it right back. High knee run. A little yippity skippity right there. You nailed it. What do you say, one more time? One more time, it's the finale. So I want you to give this all that you've got. I know you're starting to get tired. I know that your body's starting to get fatigued, but I want you to push through it anyways. I know you can, you know you can. All right, and if you want to keep going, when I stop and do it a few more times, go for it, you're welcome to. All right, toes forward, tailbone back. Squat, lift those heels. Squat, lift. Squat, lift. One more. Let's do our flamingos. We've got four, three, where's your balance? Two, 
you lift that knee, you're going to tap that toe. Where are we at now? And switch. Four. Three. Two. And one. Walking it up, down and out. Four. Walk it back. Hike up those hips. Squeeze that belly. Walk it up, down and out. Stretch out those legs. Three. I'm counting backwards. Here's two. Do you like counting backwards or forwards when you're counting out reps? Do you like to see how far you've come or to go back down from? I do it both ways, it just depends on my mood. <laughs> Alright, from here, walk it on down, down, up, up. Sometimes I count up, and then on the way back down, I count backwards. Does it matter to you? Do you have a preference? One more. As long as you know how many are left, right? Or like when you're done, that's probably a good thing. <laughs> Here's three, two, one, bear crawls. Here's one. Here's two. See what I just did there? Here's three. Here's four. Hop it up. Four, three, two, one. See what I mean? Count up, count down, count up. Fold in half. Pop it on back. Come down here, Superman's. Lift one. Lift two. Squeeze that back side. Lift the chest up. Ground up push-ups. Give me your four. We're feeling these now, aren't we? I have two more. How many do you have? <laughs> to down dog. On my call. Push down dog. Hold. Come to plank. Hold. Push down dog. Hold. Come back to plank, hold. Push it down, dog. Back to plank, hold. Stay here. Stay here. Push it down, dog. Back to plank, hold, 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 hold. Rolling T. Hold. Don't move, hold. Switch it. Hold. Stay here, stay here. Come back and switch it. Roll and hold it. We're holding at 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Switch it. Hand just underneath that shoulder, okay, guys? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come to the plane. Pop it in. Pop it back. You like that bonus, don't you? All right? High knees. Get them as high as you can. Pop it back. Come on in. Pop it up. There you go. It's almost like a little skip. <laughs> One more. The finale right there. Awesome job. Way to go. So good. I know you loved holding those planks at the end, didn't you? Best part of the whole workout. <laughs> you did so good. That was over 40 minutes of work. I probably did three minutes of talking. So 40 minutes of Power Pyramid. You rocked it. Thank you so much for joining me on this one. It's different. I think it's pretty cool. I love the element of surprise. Do you? Let's go ahead and stretch everything out. Now, we worked the shoulders, the chest a ton. So that's where actually I'm going to focus on our stretches because every time we folded, we are mostly stretching out those legs. But let's start with stretching out the chest first. So we're gonna just roll the shoulders down and back. Draw those hands down behind us. Pull those hands down. You are welcome, you are welcome. Great workout, yes, it was so great. But thank you so much for joining me. I'm glad you liked it. No equipment needed. All right, let's drop a shoulder and hug it. When I mean drop the shoulders, just don't have it up in your ear. Drop it on down, reach it across, okay? Did you wear shoes? Did you go barefoot? Which did you prefer? The barefoot was definitely the way to go today for me. I can feel extra stretch through my calves, my big barefoot, extra balance. That worked for me. But again, it's a preference. We switched arms, okay? So make sure you switch. Do you have 
you have a wall nearby or something, maybe a pillar or something nearby, I'm going to have you actually flat hand the wall and turn yourself to open up your chest. Your arms straight out from your shoulder. Do you feel that opening right there? Maybe a piece of furniture you could just grab and twist. Okay, and then let's do the other side. So you're going to flat hand the wall if you can, fingertips facing behind you. Or you can face them up towards the ceiling. You figure out what feels good for you. This arm didn't feel so good with the fingertips facing behind me. Open up the chest and the wall. There we go. That feels pretty good. All right. And a little itty bitty pressure. Fingertips reaching down. If you have really sore traps or like these are getting really um, tight, you can just do this holding a, a heavy-ish weight and not even touch your head. That's a tip for my chiropractor. Hold that weight and open up the traps. Mine get super tight. I'm working on drawing them down. But it's a conscious effort every day. All right, let's go ahead and take our feet out wider than hip width, fold. Get the back of the legs a little bit there, okay? So you can probably get a pretty deep fold. You can probably even walk your fingertips behind you a little bit while keeping your, your head above your, your heart, okay? Walk the fingertips forward, heel toe your feet on in, and let's go. Feet parallel together and reach forward. Can you palm the ground? Can you get your palms to the ground? Can you get to your ankles? Are you somewhere in between? Get the back of that leg. Go ahead and roll it on up. Figure four squat, opening up the hip. We always need to open up those hips. They're good. All that hinging. Think about a door frame. As it hinges, it starts getting creaky, right? Our hips are going to get creaky. we got to open them up. One more right here. Hopefully your heart rate is down or coming down. You are breathing normal now or close to normal. You might still be dripping sweat. That's okay. That's our heat leaving our body. Inhale up. Exhale. One more. Bring all that great positive energy in. Hold it inside of yourself just long enough that you can feel it and then send it out into the world. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Thanks again so much for joining me. This was fun. I hope you have a great day.